type of thing wouldn't even be happening without all these people. Towards the end of last season, we got to work on a new, uh, really exciting project. This here is the sled that Paul Thacker is going to try to jump to the moon with. We're down here at uh, Park X in Hill City, Minnesota, going to stick a first time official world record snowmobile jump uh, ramp to snow landing. I, I hope he says his prayers, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We were like, you know, we want to be involved, we want to build the engine package, exhaust system, you know, got our clutching components in the sled, got the sled set up and everything for him to help make it as easy as possible for him. Now we're going to do a couple quick in runs, kind of get a feel for this one. Um, it's pretty short, so we're going to we're going to do a mine speed on this one and just hit it and then uh, measure it, radar it, find out how fast we're going, and then start doing some math and pulling the ramp back. Go from there. I mean, the conditions are absolutely fantastic for this. So I'm ready to rock. We're kind of happy, and we feel, feel honored as well when he came to us and said he wanted us to do his motor for his jump and stuff. You know, he used our motor last year, and he wanted to do it again la um, this year, so uh, we're, we're pretty pumped about that. And basically, the way I look at it is, you know, as he's turned himself into a human lawn dart. Nobody's ever really had like a sled built specifically for doing it. They've always just taken like a snowcross sled or a trail sled and done it. Where this is, this one's set up, you know, with the gearing and the clutching and the pipe set up and the chassis set up. I mean, it's, it's made for one reason right now, and that's to, to jump 300 feet. Because he's putting his life on the line, that's for sure. The suspension is a lot stiffer. Obviously, it, it's set up to you know jump 30, 40 feet in the air and come down really hard. It's still hard on your body. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a snowmobile. It weighs 500 pounds, and no matter what you have in them for suspension, the landings always seem kind of hard. It's a pretty big machine. One of the other big changes is we're running a different track. Uh, the lugs aren't near as deep as you can see. They're 1.7 inches deep, I believe. Um, when you're going 90 miles an hour hitting a jump, I mean, the last thing you want is is a track acting like a windmill. Paul's goal was to break the 300 foot mark, um, which, you know, from what we've seen and whatnot and everything they had figured out, it was plenty doable. We had plenty of power, um, he had plenty of skill, and he had, he had the will to do it. Um, however, due to inadequate snow conditions, um, you know, we had some overheating issues just because there wasn't enough cooling for the snowmobile. Um, so we had some overheating issues, um, but Paul was able to jump 238 feet, which is still, I mean, that's farther than I ever want to go. I know that. To this day, he holds the world record um, for a flatland long distance jump on a snowmobile, peak to peak. That one's got me a little fired up. He knows he can go bigger and farther. Um, 300 feet would have just totally destroyed the world record that was out there already. Um, and we hope this year to be a part of it as well. Um, we know Paul has goals um, to go out there and do it, and we hope we can be a part of it. That was dynamite. It really hasn't even sunk in yet, what we've actually accomplished here today. I mean, it, you know, after we did the last one, I was all choked up on the hill. It was like, wow, we really made this happen. And, and um, you know, we started something new. This is, this is something new. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to do it after. But nobody's ever going to do it before me. And that's amazing, absolutely amazing. It's always cool to be part of something, you know, that's going to break a world record or whatever, too. So it should be pretty exciting. Super stoked, actually. <laughs> Jeremy, Articat just won for a year-end points. What do you think about that? Pretty pumped for Articat and Speedworks. It pays off for everybody at Articat and at Speedworks when everything works the way it should. And it wins. It just it makes it all worthwhile.